Hi everyone, welcome back to the Tiny Dogs Talk podcast series, Pediatric Interview Edition, your source for the clinical thinking station or clinical reasoning station of the pediatric training interview in the UK. This is brought to you by the British Sudanese Association of Pediatric and Child Health, or BSAPCH in short. I'm your host, Isra Ibrahim, and today we have our presenter, Juwaria Ibrahim. She will present a real-life demonstration case of clinical thinking station. So, without further ado, let's dive into our episode. Um, so, you are called for a patient who is six years old, case known as medic. He presented with uh, cough, uh, wheezing, and respiratory distress. Uh, he is tachypneic, tachycardic, with um, agitation. Uh, so, um, it looks I'm dealing with a child who is known as Matic who came in uh, severe respiratory distress with uh, agitation. This is most likely patient having uh, severe asthmic exacerbation or most likely this patient having a life threatening asthmatic attack. Uh, so, I will um, activate the emergency response system. I will uh, inform my senior immediately. I will delegate the role uh, to my team and I will manage this patient uh, in a recess room. Immediately, I will connect him to the monitor and uh, pulse oximeter. I will apply for him and uh, 100% oxygen uh, by non-repressive mask. Um, then I will approach uh, to manage this child by an ABCD approach. Um, first, I will uh, make sure that if there is a uh, patent uh, airway uh, or I have to consider opening uh, airway maneuver like uh, head tilt chin lift and I will continue to monitor his uh, saturation. Uh, then I will go immediately to the precinct. I will assess the precinct and the respiratory rate and effort and uh, chest expansion, air movement and to auscultate for the chest. Uh, so I have to uh, auscultate for the air entry if there is any decrease or asymmetrical air entry and uh, to any added sound like wheezing or um, silent chest. So I will start immediately uh, by giving this patient uh, inhaled uh, beta-2 agonist salbutamol uh, with uh, ibratropium bromide. Um, may I have give him uh, every uh, 20 minutes or I have to give an continuous um, uh, bronchodilator. Uh, then uh, also I have to consider immediately to give him an uh, oral steroid if he is tolerated. If not tolerated, I will consider to give him an uh, IV hydrocortisone. Then I will move to the circulation to make sure that if there is uh, adequate uh, circulation if there is uh, any uh, inadequate circulation I have to insert an IV line and um, to give a uh, bolus of uh, IV fluid and I will continue to uh, monitor the improvement if still uh, there is no improvement um, Maybe I have uh, to give this patient a bolus of uh, IV uh, salbutamol and uh, I will continue to monitor him. Then I will move to the D to assess uh, the level of consciousness and by glasgocoma scale to examine the pupils and to check the blood glucose. Then I will move to the E to expose this child uh, if there is any evidence of skin rash, bruises, and to check his temperature. Uh, so if this patient uh, is febrile, um, may I have uh, to give him an antibiotic uh, if he is tolerating oral, I will give him oral or by an IV line. So uh, it is according to the severity and the improvement I have to follow this patient uh, by, uh, by uh, observing his uh, heart rate, saturation, uh, blood pressure, and uh, ECG if I will start the salbutamol and the magnesium sulfate. I will ask one of my team to print the protocol of asthma and will manage accordingly. If it's still severe, I have to contact uh, with the PICU uh, so he will uh, for further management. 
Uh, so uh, I have to update the family about the condition of their child and I have to take a focus history by sample. I have to ask about uh, symptoms uh, like cough, shortness of breath, uh, chest tightness, uh, any nocturnal uh, symptom. So I have to ask about uh, the medication uh, of this patient, about his compliance with medication, is he on preventive therapy, about the technique of the inhaler. Um, then I will ask about the past medical history, if there is any past medical history of severe attack, past medical history of um, um, bus medical history of uh, BICU admission. Uh, is this patient is having chronic lung disease, long uh, admission to MICU? And I will have also ask about the last meal and the event in details. Then I will uh, I will do uh, from head to toe uh, physical examination and. Um, According to the situation, this is patient he needs PICU. I will inform them earlier. And uh, regarding after that, after stabilization of the patient, I have to do a debriefing session to assess our performance, what done in the right way, and uh, to avoid any negatives. Thank you. As we wrap up today's episode, me and Bisab CH would like to extend our thanks to our presenter, Joelia Ibrahim. Thank you for sharing your insights with us. We hope, we hope this episode has provided simulation-like guidance for the clinical thinking station and pediatric training interview. Remember, our journey does not end here. Be sure to check out the rest of our podcast, our YouTube channel, our website for more information. Your feedback is valuable. We invite you to reach out and share your thoughts, questions, or suggestions. Together, we can continue to improve and provide content that meets your need. Thank you for tuning in, and until the next time, stay curious and keep learning.